Hello, welcome pen friends. My name is Chris and I'm back with another pen review. Actually, this is an early impressions um, review of the Caveco Perkeo or Perkeo. I'm not really sure how they say it. Um, I actually got this pen in last month in the March Ink Flight box. So it was part of the subscription box and I've really been enjoying it. This is actually my third fill in it because I just refilled it tonight with uh, more of the Caveco Midnight Blue. So I'm going to show you the pen and then I'm going to kind of compare it with some other similar pens or at least in that same ballpark. And then I'll tell you, um, we'll show, I'll show you a writing sample and then I'll tell you what I like and don't like about it. There's actually a lot of, um, I'm very favorable toward this pen after having written with it for uh, about a month and I just really enjoy it. So, okay, so here's the pen. Um, I'm holding it this way because it does have Caveco right there kind of in raised letters on the cap and I, I like that. This pen is made in Germany and it's only my second uh, Caveco pen. The other one that I have is their Sport. The, the better known, I think, or well known is the, uh, the Sport edition. This one is longer, but it does have a cap that comes on and off real easy. It's just a, a, a push to, to post and, and have it come off. So I forgot to show you, this actually has a, a gorgeous little finial with their company logo. Let me hold it right there with the Caveco logo on the end. And it's very faceted. It actually, um, even on the body, it has a lot of, uh, of the faceting around. So it doesn't actually roll around on your desk, which is kind of a nice thing. If you've ever dealt with that, you know that's a, that can be a pain, okay? Um, mine is actually the one that's called Old Cambry. It, it's like a, well, some people call it gray, but I, I sort of call it an off-white or a white and blue. And so, and mine came with a medium nib on it. And it's just, it, it came as a really smooth writer right out of the uh, little package, you know? I mean, it just, uh, it, it really blew me away because I did have trouble with my Caveco Sport. So th this was a great surprise. So it does, I'm uh, not sure we're going to be able to see this. But there is a cap liner inside. Yeah, it's, I figured it was going to be really... There's a plastic uh, liner inside, so that's really good news because that helps keep it nice and uh, from drying up, you know. That, that's a really, really cool thing. The other thing that I like about this, and we'll get into that more later, is that it does have, um, have that triangular grip. Uh, but it doesn't seem quite as pronounced as the Lamy. The Lamy doesn't bother me per se, but this is super comfortable for my uh, hand to write with. It's just super comfortable. So, you know, if it's got the two and then it's got the, uh, the one down below, but it just, it, it's been super comfortable. Okay, so you can use um, long or short standard international cartridges. This is a little standard international converter that Ink Journal sent with the pen so that we'd be all set to write with. And I did want to mention right off the bat, if you do order one of these, uh, you might not have to order a, a converter because if you're like me, you've probably got quite a few like Gen Hao Sharks and other little Gen Hao pens uh, hanging around. And, and if you do, you've probably got quite a few of these little standard international converters just hanging around. So I did pull this one out earlier. Let's see if I can do it without making a mess. I pulled it out because I wanted to know for me, you know, to, um, well, anyway, it doesn't matter if we make a mess. Okay. Um, you know, whether this fit and sure enough fits right in there nice and snug. It's not going to go anywhere either. So that just, you know, so remember that because we can f kind of forget sometimes that we have a lot of stuff around we might oh well I'll clean that later it got a little ink in it but that's no big deal I wanted to show you that you don't always have to purchase something because um those are hanging around us once we get going in this hobby and uh or if something were to go wrong with the one that you get with it or or if you didn't like the price if you thought five dollars was too much I do uh, you know because I could get a whole pen that has one of these converters in it for about a dollar so I'm a cheapie sometimes because I'm trying to make my money go so far okay the other end uh, of the pen the barrel end let's see what does that say so oh, it says Germany let's see if I can make it so that you can see it that's a little more challenging but maybe you can see it <laughs> could see the ink on my fingers but um so 
gosh, that's the pen. And I'll, I'll say some more about dimensions and, and weight and everything as we move along. But I think what I'd like to do right now is show you how it compares to a couple really, really common pens here. I'll probably get everything upside down, but let's see what we can do here. Um, so it wouldn't be complete without comparing it to the Caveco Sport, even though this is a pocket pen, the Caveco Sport, and it's a lot smaller, but it... Uh, I wanted to just have an opportunity, and it does screw off, so the cap screws off, so that's a little bit different. Of course, it posts, and oh, I don't know if I mentioned that, but it actually, the Caveco Perkeo or Perkeo posts very, very well. I sometimes use it posted if I'm thinking I might, like a cat might attack the cap or something, but for the most part, I like writing without it, but it just, there's no problem. Like, I don't feel it there, and it's well-balanced, and I can write with it posted, no problem. And it has that nice, um, you know, steady business going on. It, okay, but what I wanted to do is show you um, the comparison. So you don't have a forced grip or a triangular grip on the, on the sport. And it's a little smaller, but it's a very comfortable pen to write with, the, the sport is. You know, you just seem to fit right there. Um, a, a lot of people are comfortable, I think, writing with this, and I am. But th there's, this is super, super comfortable for me since my grip is um, quite compatible with a, uh, a tripod grip and, and a little bit of a contour there just helps my my fingers won't slip at all and I can write and write and write with it and I have been I've had it as my bullet journal pen and it like gosh week after week I think this is the first week I reverted back to my Twisby mini to use uh, diamine earl gray but I've been using this one because it's just so comfortable and and I, I love it I feel like I don't want to go anywhere without it kind of thing so, um, so that's the difference there. There's a big price difference too, because we're talking about, um, my goodness, I got that on there good. <laughs> uh, we're talking about uh, closer to $30 for the Caveco Sport, and then we're talking about $16 or $17 for the Caveco per Perkeo or Perkeo. Um, so they're not exactly in the same, you know, price tag there. Okay, so then we go to the Twisby Go pen, which is, um, this one's not inked up right now. And the only reason is because I've got so many pens inked up and I'm going on a trip really soon. Like, I'm counting down like it's getting really close. So I hate to have everything inked up. Um, may bring this with me, but have it clean and ready and have some, uh, my little miser and my ink with me, you know, but the little filler thing that I like. Um... So this pen is right in that same price range, uh, right around, I think it's right around $18 for this one. And, it, and this one also has, which you can't see it quite as well, um, you know, a bit of a, a suggested grip, <laughs> shall we say. Um, so, you know, there, there you are. Um, and it's comfortable. It, it, this one is very comfortable too. But it's totally different, more modern looking, and it doesn't appeal to everyone, you know. So I just wanted you to have a chance to see it. It also has the uh, the uh, cap liner. That's what I'm trying to say. And you can see this a lot easier because this is more or less a demonstrator. You know, you could see inside and see what's going on. And it's got, you know, it's got a really pretty Twisby logo on it too. So let's see. I guess we could. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, and, and again, I don't mind it being posted because it's very lightweight, too. In fact, this, the, the Perkeo is uh, 12 grams, about a half an ounce <laughs> total weight. It doesn't weigh much, and this one doesn't weigh much either. I'd have to consult my notes to remember, but boy, they're right in the same ballpark. So let's go ahead and do this one, too, real quick. <clears throat> then we can get a, just a glimpse at it. And of course, you know, we'll leave this one, even though this is inked up, but we'll go ahead and, you know, it's much shorter. Um, <clears throat> wow, I've got things all over. Okay, so I also pulled out my um, Pilot Metropolitan, which I don't write with as much anymore because I do find that, that the nibs that I have are just so uh, thin compared to what I like. I, you know, the, the writing is... Uh, 
it's great for really cheap paper and everything or paper that where I just really want to write tiny but their nibs because they're they're the Japanese nibs they're much much finer of a line and so I get along better with the Caveco the Twisby and the Lamy's you know they're they're um uh wider in in their medium nibs and I just and this is a medium I think no this is a fine okay but I got it out because of the color but I have a medium nib uh, metropolitan too and of course it it comes with or did come with it may come with something else now came with this little squeeze bladder or you could use a cartridge same as as uh, what we're talking about with the percale okay so um Let's see. Well, we'll get this view of things posted. That that's a lot closer to the Perkeo, and then here is the um, Lamy Safari, which is one of my mainstays in my collection. Nice and lightweight again, and and you can use cartridges or um, converters. I've got a converter in there, and I've got I think I've got another Caveco ink in there, Summer Purple, because I love it so much. And it has the triangular uh, grip, so there's that. But there's a lot more choices in nib sizes, and we'll talk about that some more for the Lamy's. And you are talking about uh, you're back up in that $30 range with the with the Lamy Safari. Let's see. There's no ink in that one, no ink in that one. It's just these two. I'm worried about them drying out, so don't want that to happen. Okay, so um, hopefully that gives you a little bit of comparisons. And uh, I don't have any more of my uh, Pilot... Um, Kakuno because I didn't quite get along with it, but I have a pen friend who really really loved hers in another color And I just uh, sent it to her because I knew she was getting along with it. I do believe that it's because of The pilot nibs being so fine that I even the medium wasn't Right for me and also it could also be that the way I hold the pen and the way I write so fast there's something about that where I'm just more comfortable with the Lamy um, and uh, with the Twisby nibs. I, I just, I haven't quite figured that all out yet. Okay, so let's look at a writing sample. And, and when we do that, it's, it's kind of an announcement too. <laughs> so I'll kind of start with that. So this is a new journal for me that is going to replace my Rhodia Gold Book. And it's, the Rhodia Gold Book's been around for ages. You all have seen it a lot. Um, but it does have the uh, kind of uh, ivory or pages, and that's been giving me some trouble. So I saw a review not too long ago uh, by Mick L, and I will, um, I think that's his other initial, I will link to it. This is a Bond Travel Gear um, notebook, and it's uh, Tomoe River 68 GSM, and the, the whole, uh, let's see. There's a paper that came around it. Anyway, they were having a special on their notebook with their zipper uh, cover, which I'm not really trying. I don't want to show that today or anything. I just wanted to tell you th there'll be a lot more that I'll talk about about this, but I decided to dive in for this review since I'm almost full in that other book. So, and I really wanted to start seeing what the difference would be in us being able to see the colors. So I'd made some of my notes, and this is the writing sample that I have to show you um, in this notebook. So, like I said, it, it, this pen came in the uh, March 2019 ink flight as the pen goodie, and it came with a converter, and it was wonderful. And it does take the standard international long or short cartridges, and it's available in five colors, and this one is the one called Old Cambry. But recently they added a solid uh, black one, which um, my friend uh, Gadget Stop uh, 321 did a wonderful review on it. Now I want one of those. It's, it's in all black, same pen as this. Um, so it takes the standard international converter. Um, the other colors are like uh, pink and gray, and then uh, black and red, lime and black. And then the all black. So there, there's five colors that I know of. And um, I'm seeing them available in fine and medium nibs now. But that's still not quite enough for me. Um, but we'll get to that in a minute. So 
what I'm understanding, and I did some research, is that it, it's a number five size nib, but it's not, definitely not, um, what I'm understanding from other people, and that, you know, correct me if I say something wrong because I'm just learning, is that they're not interchangeable with the Caveco Sport. So, you know, like that would mean that perhaps you could order a number size, a number five um, nib from Goulet or something, but they may be slightly different, but it still may work. And, and don't quote me because I'm still trying to find a definitive, you know, someone to say definitely. And I think I'm a little nervous about pulling that out, even though it is friction fit, that much I've learned. So you could pull it out. I'd like to have a broad nib on one of them, but if, you know, if I get another one in the future. Right now, I'm so happy with this one, I won't, I won't mess with it. I mean, I don't want to hurt the, the feed, but I have been successful changing nibs on my little tiny Moon Man Mini, and that's a number five nib, came right out and, you know, transferred to a broad nib. I did it myself, and I was so proud. That was after watching um, uh, the Gold Spot uh, video they did, and Tom did that video, I think. It was so, it looked so easy just pulling from the side and just getting the nib and then putting, you know, not having to pull the whole feed out. That was cool. But that's for another video probably because I got a lot to learn. So I might as well run right through what I came up with in terms of what I love about this pen. It's affordable. So it's, you know, under $20. And uh, that, that means a lot to me on the pen allowance that I'm on. It's lightweight, which I do like in a pen. I don't mind a heftier pen either. You guys know I love the Gen Hao X750s and they're heavy. But, but I do truly like a nice lightweight, uh, easy to deal with pen. I love the fact I'm quick in and out for taking quick notes. Now, if I'm writing a letter, I don't care how many turns of the, you know, pen it takes to undo it. But if I'm taking notes off and on, off and on, I really like a push to cap and, and get into. Um, it's got the comfortable grip, which kind of rivals any of the other pens I have, really. Uh, probably the only pen I have that's more comfortable to grip is my Moon Man Mini because it's got such a nice uh, uh, bigger diameter grip. Uh, I like the design. I really do. I like how it stays still on your desk and it's kind of a neat design. You know, they. I mean, that's a lot of lot of detail and and prettiness for such a inexpensive pen. I like it. Um, oh, it posts securely and it feels balanced even when it's posted, which is pretty interesting. And then it has that cap liner, which is too hard for me to show you, but it's in there. I can see it. Uh, then those are, you know, there's probably more even that I haven't thought of yet. Then on the other side, which not all of these things bother me at all, but I wanted to mention them just in case. Um, I'm only, you know, as far as it coming to you, being able to order, I've only seen fine and medium nibs. And I think at one point there were only medium nibs. So... You know, being that I love broad nibs, that's, you know, a little bit of a, that's a little bit of a bummer, but I just need to get better at being confident and not worrying about wrecking a pen and changing nibs, which I'm getting there. And then you can't eyedropper it because it's, um, it's got a hole, you know, so you don't, <laughs> you can't do that unless you use glue and I don't get into that kind of thing, really. I know people who do. And then there's no converter included. But like I said, don't let that stop you when you can, if you're doing anything with um, with cheaper pens or if you have a pen friend that is, you, you know, they'd have these rolling around literally after a while because sometimes we just pop a cartridge in a, in a shark or in a another pen and we just pull that, that converter out. So those shouldn't have to cost you very much or, you know, someone will, will give you one if you need one or something. That's the way I see it. So, let's see, um, gosh, I just, I, in conclusion, more or less, I, I really love this pen. This is the ink. I just can't stop looking at how pretty that is. And, and I am actually, um, uh, I was going to show you that, not, I got to grab the wrong one. Like, I, I think there's a, a drop down in there, <laughs> but I'm refusing to clean it out yet because I'm going it, to, it's full right up to the brim right now, and I'm going to use it right down to the last drop, this Caveco Midnight Blue. So I was really, really excited that this nib was smooth, you know, and I, I'm watching a few older videos. Uh, another reviewer that I really, really admire and respect said that, uh, you know, there was a little bit of, like, some were great, some weren't, so I want you to be aware of that. And perhaps watch a few more reviews and see what other people, because I've only had this one 
um, Caveco Perkeo in-house, so I can only talk about this one. When I first got my Caveco Sport, I think a lot of you have heard the story. It was it was quite the oh wow it was and I loved the look of the pen and the pen so much I didn't want to return it so I ended up learning how to nib smooth and I was only a few months into the pen hobby so it was quite a challenge but it wasn't like that with this one and uh, this this is a couple years later so heaven only knows but it just is a wonderful pen uh, so I hope you like it and I'm trying to see if uh, there's anything that I forgot to mention uh, there will be more for you about this notebook and about the cover that came with it eventually i'm not sure if it'll be before i leave but this is going to be my ink journal if it passes the preliminary test which so far um it did you know i got a little further to go but it's it's white paper so it's going to make it easier for us and i did notice that you see all those white dots when you uh, put the ink on but it doesn't really bleed through it, sh it shows through a little like ghosting and that I'm used to. It says that it's designed in the USA and assembled in Taiwan. But I just wanted to let you know that this is what I am intending anyway. I left room for an index. The pages are numbered. So it's just cool. They didn't build in an index, but for the price, it was barely it was barely $20. And with the coupon I had, it was under $20 for the book. I mean, for this notebook and the cover. So it was just incredible. And I, I will link you to mix um he's from australia he's a, a, a fountain pen reviewer that i really love to watch <laughs> except for that my wallet may not <laughs> do so well if i watch his videos because he's got some awesome things he comes across okay i think that's all um for now and let me know if, do you have one of these pens what do you think of it how long have you had it you know I, i'm a newbie with it i've had it a month i love it i'm picking it up all the time and um it's just, it's been a super, super addition to my fountain pen collection. And, you know, I'm using it every day. So it's, it's definitely a writer that I expect I'll have, you know, in use for years, uh, hopefully. So, okay. So I will um, end with that and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.